Alicia Reacts here and today I'm going to be reacting to the first episode of Roswell, New Mexico. Uh, so for those of you who don't know, I just got done finishing, uh, I just got done with the original Roswell TV series and I wanted to do Roswell, New Mexico. There might be some comparisons in here, I don't really know. I'm going to try and not like judge it. Because, like, I know that, like, look, I watched Charmed as a kid, and then when the reboot came out, I judged that so much. Um, so I'm trying to go in here with an open mind, and, yeah, so we're going to be doing one episode a week. Just don't spoil anything, and, yeah, it's going to be very strange going into this and, like, having different actors play these characters that I already know exist. Let's just get into it. Every small town has a story, but my hometown has a legend. Ever since, UFO enthusiasts have flooded in, searching for some cosmic phenomenon to prove we're not all alone in the universe. As a kid, I was searching too, in my own way, until I realized that Roswell is just a small town full of small tragedies and small people. People I never plan to see again. You've got to be kidding me. So you let the Joneses and the Jenners through, but you're gonna stop the Latina and tell me this is just a DWI checkpoint. Ma'am. I know Roswell is well past the 100 mile border zone, Vato. Ma'am. I will have the ACLU so far up your ass, you'll be reciting the 10th Circuit Vencer Castillo verdict in your sleep. Liz. Max. It's been a long time. Ten years. You're still in Roswell. And you're finally back. Problem, Evans? So it's interesting. He's a he cop in this one. Thing. Okay. Sheriff Valenti, hi. Kyle will be thrilled you're here for the reunion. Okay. Don't Gender bench Sheriff Valenti. Back for it. Reunion? This weekend? Are you gonna breathalyze me or? You were always a good girl, Liz. Tell your daddy say hello. Aliens are the Illuminati. They're conditioned. Okay, this is a crash down. Beyonce fan on Twitter, relentless. They're brainwashed by subliminal messaging in the music. And soon, the war for the soul of America will be on. This is the Gravity of It All podcast. Now, word from our sponsor, Alpha Testosterator Gel Caps. You really think aliens are after America? That's the greatest country in the galaxy. Are you a believer? In <laughs> the galaxy? That's why I'm in Roswell. My great-grandpa was impregnated by an alien here in 1947. Your great-grandfather? Abducted. Probed. Ever since only men in the family carry children. Liz, what have I told you about toying with the customers, huh? Fourteen months I carried you. Alien gestation. <laughs> what it came out about a <laughs> Our little genius. Finally home. Hm. You have to wear the antenna. No. No way. Descanse. Hasta luego. Men in black and salmon with scully sweet potato fries and extra flying sauce to go. Okay, so they kept, it seems they kept the original, um, like the book version of their last name. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I, uh, I just came to tell you your left front running light is out. What? You peeled out before I could say anything. That's why I stopped you. I'm not one of the bad guys, Liz. Anyway, it was, uh, it's really good to see you. You want a milkshake? So, where you been? Denver, working on an experimental regenerative medicine study. We were onto something special, but of course, we lost funding because someone needs money for a wall. That's something that they kind of dropped with Liz in the original show, like her sharing a shake with my high school lab partner. Science. Oh, are, are we sharing? Yeah. Stop. You know, I used to think about what I would say if I ever saw you again. Oh, down, down. No. No. Liz. You know what to do. Interesting, interesting. Come here, it's okay, it's okay, it's 
to obey all night long. This is part of the thing? Yes. I think it's called hoverboarding. I'll check the book. Isabel! I love you! The 10 year anniversary of Rosa's death reignited some anger. Okay, she's Why dead. Stay in this town that hates us for no good reason. They have a reason, Mika. Your sister took drugs and she drove. And when she died, she took two innocent girls with her. Liz, Arturo, does anyone need medical attention? How long have people been coming after my father's diner? Our home? I had been back for five hours and someone just blew out the window. Liz, were you hurt? No, I'm, I'm fine. Oh, my God. What? How did I'll this explain happen? everything later. Just please help me. Okay. That nail polish remover. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> nice to see that they kept the, like, uh... Thanks for seeing me, Kyle. My mom texted uh, me back. Very light situation. So, also, please. look, it's Tyler. Also, why isn't a handprint? <sighs> uh, a little disappointed. I'm, I'm confused. I think maybe I have a concussion. Is it safe to do a CT scan on someone who has a bullet in their body? What? Liz, were you shot? Obviously not. <gasps> right? Th th there was gunfire at the cafe, and I swear something hit me, but I'm, I'm fine. And, you know. Okay, it's okay. <sighs> You're reacting to trauma. I'll order the scans. Just leave a full report on my desk and then get some sleep before you patrol. For God's sake, Evans. Shave. I heard you ranting about patriarchal no. dress codes and grooming. Beards are sexy. I'm just uh, aligning myself with your feminist agenda, sir. Sure. Uh -huh. Oh, by the way, mm -hmm. there's a present for you in the drunk tank. Michael, I'm guessing? There are cameras in here, Michael. Mysteriously, they all shut down. Let me guess. Another drunken fight at the Wild Pony? Sober up a little bit. I'll get you released the right way. I was looking forward to the self-righteous lecture. Why you gotta cause a scene, Michael? Why don't you drive the speed limit, Michael? Why don't you spend your nights like I do? Crying and masturbating to Russian moralistic literature, Michael. Hey, brother. Had to untie some loose ends at home, but I'm here for your explanation. You have 30 seconds or I will melt your brain. What did you do? 20 years of keeping this secret and now you up and resurrect someone? Rosa Orteco's sister. You weren't there. Okay, you didn't see it. I couldn't just let her die. <laughs> So you do CPR, you pray, you don't decide to be a hero. How would you know? You've never done anything for anybody. Stop it, Max, both of you. You do this to Isabel is ridiculous. Everything I've ever done has been to protect Isabel and you. Everything you've ever done has been to protect yourself. Max, the cameras. You shut them off, don't worry. Don't worry? I have been worried my entire life that someone would find out about us. That we would end up dissected, imprisoned. I am married to someone who can't ever know who I am, and that kills me. But I keep this secret because you, me, and Michael swore that we would. And now in one moment, you've thrown that all away on some girl you had a thing for in high school. I hope she was worth it, Max. Okay, so this Isabel is also married. Sorry, I, it probably sounds like I'm comparing a lot, but I'm just like kind of... Not comparing, but I'm just like looking at the differences. Not that one is better than the other. I'm just, just noticing. This is acquiring the land. You gotta move your rig. I'll miss you. Hey, hey, that's private property. Hello. Alex. Oh. I'm from Baghdad. Father must be proud. Finally, a real Maine's man. Three quarters of one. What are you doing in this trailer? Sure as hell doesn't look legal. Little weed, a lot of casual sex. Oh, and covert plans to violently overthrow the government? Quick, Alex. Run and tell your daddy. That's cool. Really, Max Evans? 
so vanilla. It's like, I've taught you nothing. All our lives that kids made moon eyes at you. And now, two weeks before graduation, you look back at them. I guess I've been thinking about things I'll miss, and maybe I don't want to miss Max Evan. He's already in the rearview mirror, trust me. That is so shitty. Why don't they have proper tombstones? Brought you a milkshake to make up for the one that got rudely interrupted last night. And say thank you. Oh, he didn't do anything. He shoot or miss, we were lucky. Can you keep a secret? Of course. My mother is mentally ill. My sister Rosa too. I think that's why she got into drugs when we were kids, you know, self-medicating, quieting voices. And I was always afraid I would end up like them, hallucinating. You know, I thought I was shot, so I went to the hospital. You saw a doctor. I saw Kyle. I made him check to make sure that there wasn't a bullet in my body. I mean, that's insane, right? I'm insane. Nothing happened. Look, hey, maybe you were just tired from the drive. Or losing my mind. Wait, Liz. Man, are you hurt? I, I, I'm okay. okay come, on. come on, let's get you checked out. Maria, hi. Wild Pony is strictly a locals bar. Taurus usually party at Saturn's ring. Two blocks over. Okay, I guess I deserve that. You could at least have the decency to get an Instagram so your high school BFF can stalk you from afar. I was on my way home, but I came to thank you. I saw what you left at Rosa's memorial. I can't stay long. I have this project. To Rosa. To Rosa. I'm gonna tell Liz the truth. That's very funny. She already went to a hospital, Isabel. If she talks to their forensics teams or decides to run tests of her own, I mean, the mark could show up. Michael would never forgive you. I am trying to do damage control You here. can't just bring some stranger in. I am not asking permission! I'm sorry. What, are you, like, in love with her? I haven't seen her in a decade. You can't ever be with her. You know that, right? Because even if you tell her what you are, there are too many secrets. Things she can't ever know. Fall in love with someone else, Max. Anyone else. It's been 10 years. That's not how it works. If I could have, I would have. How's the head? Fine. I feel like an idiot. And I feel like a tipsy idiot, which should be better, but it actually isn't. There's a DJ tonight. You want to stay? Dance it out like old times. I don't dance in this town anymore, pal. We don't need to dance, then. Huh? Grab a bite. See a movie. Whatever. This is probably a bad idea. I thought we were ignoring that figure the whole sex thing. Right. It's just, maybe I'm just a distraction. Is that a problem? No. Use me. Okay. Use me, absolutely. <laughs> Whoa, Liz. What happened? Oh, uh, nothing. This is probably a bad idea. They looked more like a hickey to me. <sighs> Only someone said that earlier. Sorry, uh, I'll call you. <sighs> oh, now it's a handprint. I was looking for you. I need answers. Now. I was afraid that might happen. Will you take a drive with me? Master Sergeant Maines. Kyle, got your message. You didn't have to come all the way here. I don't like phones. Right. Uh, look, um, my dad was dying. He was barely coherent toward the end there, but he'd repeat this crazy mantra. If you see the handprint, go to Maines. Where did you see it? With all due respect, sir, I need a few answers first. I did get shot. Didn't I? I told you, I'll explain everything when I'm you get up there. I'm an idiot. Who goes wandering in the desert with a stranger? I'm not a stranger. This town makes me stupid. I will never understand why anyone ever stays here. I stay here because I like it. Look, I know people were terrible to you when Rosa died. The people here are good to me. My family's happy. You know, Isabel and Michael won't leave. Why? Michael outscored me on every AP exam. He, I thought he would get some scholarship, change the world. I don't think Michael likes the world enough to bother changing it. <laughs> Any indication that you're not going to murder me? Is this the Kawachi Caves? 20 feet beneath the desert would be super. You need to see this to believe it. We think these are what kept us safe during the crash. The crash? 1947 UFO crash. What are you, Max? You already know the legend, but 50 years after the incident in 1997, I woke up in here. 
in one of those. Michael and Isabel, too. We had no memories or rudimentary skills, just each other. A long haul trucker found us naked, me wandering the desert. Our parents adopted Isabel and me, but Michael was harder to place. He, uh, he ended up in foster care, and we just assimilated, swore to keep our secret. You're telling me you're an alien? I know it sounds crazy. I spent the last two days thinking that I needed to have myself committed. I'm sad that they didn't have the... <laughs> Better than that. I mean, your squamous epithelial cells are not human. Of course you stole my cells. Magical healing does not make sense to me. DNA does. You know, it's the science that scares us the most. I've always been terrified that if anyone found out, they'd put us in a lab and, I don't know, cut us up, experiment. Nothing has ever mattered to me more than protecting Michael and Isabel from that until I saw you bleeding and I just... I'll keep your secret, Max. I promise you. You know, your father was very proud of you when you went to med school. Our families have long been in the business of keeping people safe. And for the past 70 years, your ancestors and mine led an operation to protect this town, this entire planet. Welcome to Project Shepard, Kai. Shepard. Why are you here? This is so not your scene. There are no peanut shells on the floor, and everyone in the band has teeth. This matters to you, so I'm here. You have to go about our normal lives, maintain cover from your parents, Noah. Maintain cover? Max Trust lives. But if he's wrong, you're gonna have to do something about it. I don't do that anymore. I don't mess with people's minds. If I could do it, I would. But I can't, so start preparing yourself. Because if Liz or Teco turns on any of us, you will get inside of her head and erase it and make her leave Roswell. Okay, so you're kind of like Tess's powers. I guess. Just like you did 10 years ago. This pod kept you incubated in stasis for 15 years? I think so. Okay. Can you all heal people? No, we all have specialties. Like what? I'm, I'm treating you like a science experiment. I'm so sorry. I wish I had answers for you. There was never anyone around to help us understand. We grew up watching movies where aliens abduct people, violate them, and blow up the White House. I'm a son. I'm a brother. I'm a cop. My life is ordinary, which was fine until you blew back into it two days ago. You ask me what I am, I'm just a guy from Roswell. That's it. I considered leaving once after high school. If it hadn't been for Michael and Isabel, I would've followed you. I mean, I would've, I would've followed in your footsteps, you know, to see the world or whatever. We just, uh, I need to get to the reunion. It's important to Isabel. I'll come with you. You hate those people. Not all of them. Are you like some benevolent vigilante who goes around saving people and then convincing them they're crazy? I don't save people all the time. I, I never save people. But you're a cop. You must see hurt people. Why me? Do you remember the first time we met? I feel like I've just always known you. I remember it. I can show you, but I need to touch you. Okay. Do whatever you want. After high school, you would have followed me. Yeah. Anywhere. Thought. The handprint is a psychic bond between us. That's how I can show you my memories. Right now, what you're feeling is an echo of what I feel for you. It'll wear off just like the handprint will. So, I can't. Okay. The handprint fade. A couple days, maybe a week. Fine. I'll kiss you then. The unidentified flying object was a ship carrying an army of monsters. Most of them died. That day. At least one survived. And if you saw a handprint, that means the violence isn't over. Wasn't she like deported or something? This was a bad idea. This town. Yeah, I know. I... Listen, we don't have to stay. Right? Isabel will understand. I'll take you home. The song? I can't leave now. Nostalgia's a bitch, huh? 
I thought for sure when I got back from Iraq, you would be long gone. Is that what you want? We're not kids anymore. What I want doesn't matter. Okay, so they're pairing Michael and Alex together. Interesting. So you told her? I did. She wasn't scared. She wasn't angry. She didn't run away. I can trust her. Right. They are a violent race. They despise compassion. They despise freedom, love, and they thrive on our tragedy. So I'm guessing you didn't tell her the truth about... She can never know about that. She can never know about what happened to Rosa. They are, at their very core, killers. When the truth hunts you down... Hey, what's up you guys? Quick interruption here. Um, as you are no doubt aware, these past few years have been tough on all of us. Um, and there are some things that none of us can hide from. Um, the cost of living, for instance, food and things like electricity, gas and water have all gone up and they continue to go up. Um, now, I don't really like to advertise this, but in order to afford keeping the lights on, the camera running, and to be able to provide you guys with new content, like this, very edit, for example, uh, I feel I need to let you guys know about how you can help support the channel and myself. I have a Patreon that if you pledge to, you're helping support the channel, and in return, you can get a vast amount of content that you wouldn't regularly get on YouTube, such as full unedited reactions to my regular content, a ton of other shows and movies that you probably don't even know that I've reacted to. A link to this can be found in the description below, and it really does help the channel by keeping me and my very cute cats alive. Think of the cats. If you're interested, you can also check out our website, which is also linked below. Perhaps there's some shows and movies there that you didn't even know that I reacted to, but you always wanted to see. Please know, pledging is entirely your own choice, of course. You're welcome to stay here on YouTube and wait for the edits to come out. No worries, I'm not going anywhere. More edits are coming. Uh, I understand not everyone is in the position to support creators, but any help is welcome. Anyways, thank you for your continued support, whether it's through YouTube or on Patreon. You guys are the best. Now please, enjoy the rest of the video. Alrighty-o, uh, well that was Roswell, New Mexico. Um, the first episode, I liked it. Uh, I, I genuinely found myself enjoying it. A um, lot of different, like a lot of similarities, a lot of changes. Um, and I, I don't know, I, I enjoyed it. I didn't like, I don't know. There was maybe a couple like heavy handed things in it, but eh, um, so yeah, we've got like a, a mystery about the sister, I suppose, um, And it seems like uh, Liz's memory has been wiped before. Um, I'm just a little sad that they didn't do this because I was going to put it in the thumbnail. Now we're like, because I was going to try and like replicate the thumbnail a little bit. Can't do that now. Um, yeah, this was an enjoyable. Uh, what did you guys think? Let me know, and I'll see you in the next one.